Ladies and gentlemen, this is breaking news. In this video, I'm going to show you how three more U.S. Senators are sponsoring and working towards forcing the Small Business Administration to disperse the full $10,000 grants to all small business applicants of the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. And in short, you watch this video until the end because I'm going to read to you the text of the bill the sponsors just released, the text of the bill, so you can see how the statutory language will force the Small Business Administration and block them from imposing limits such as $1,000 per employee or $30 per employee. Okay, we're going to get right into it because we have a lot to cover, ladies and gentlemen. S.4227, the Ensuring Increased Disaster Loan for Small Businesses Act. Senator from Nevada, Jackie Rosen, and Senator from Texas, John Cornyn, Republican Senator from Texas, John Cornyn, and Democrat from Nevada, Jackie Rosen, introduced this bill. It's to force the SBA, to first off block the SBA from placing a cap on economic injury disaster loans at $150,000 or $15,000 or any cap that they deem fit. They would have to disperse loans of up to $2 million. And under this bill, the Small Business Administration would have to disperse the full $10,000 grant to all economic injury disaster loan applicants, ladies and gentlemen. Now, a number of you have had several questions in regards to this bill, so the text is going to answer those questions. Nonetheless, let's get right to it. As of yesterday, the bill has more sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. Has three more sponsors. Senator Doug Jones, Democrat from Alabama. Senator Tim Kaine, Senator from Virginia, Democrat Senator from Virginia. Senator Tina Smith, Democrat from Minnesota, ladies and gentlemen. On my previous video, I had told you that Senator Marquis, Senator Edward J. Marquis, Democrat from Massachusetts, and Senator Chris Van Hollen, Democrat from Maryland, co-sponsored this bill on July 23rd, 2020, ladies and gentlemen. Now, that just means that these people are publicly working towards passing this bill, ladies and gentlemen. So what's happening? You're going to get your $10,000 economic injury disaster loan advance as long as you have a legitimate small business and you applied for this thing. And you will apply for this thing. Or you will apply for this thing. And here goes the text, ladies and gentlemen. The sponsor just released it. S.4227 to improve access to economic injury disaster loans and emergency advances under the CARES Act and for other purposes. Mr. Rosen for herself and Mr. Cornyn introduced the following bill which has read twice and referred to the Committee on Small Business and Entrepreneurship. This is the committee with whom we share an open line of correspondence. You got to remember Josh Duncan, their research assistant, working with the office of Chairman Marco Rubio. He got back to us. So we've been working with them to lobby this for this thing and to ensure that these senators push this through Senate and ultimately makes this law. A bill to improve access to economic injury disaster loans and emergency advances under the CARES Act and for other purposes. Short title, Ensuring Increased Disaster Loan for Small Businesses Act. Let's go get down to the meat and potatoes, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> or the meat and broccoli in my case. Okay. Additional funding for existing borrowers. All right, first off, this is a key sentence right here. Respect to an economic injury disaster loan made under Section 7B2C. This is the first provision that I mentioned. During the period beginning of the date of the enactment of this act, ending on December 31st, 2020, or such later date, the administrator may determine the administrator shall not impose a maximum loan amount limit that is lower than $2 million. In other words, the Small Business Administration will have to disperse loans of up to $2 million as per congressional intent. Additional loan for existing borrowers. A recipient of an economic injury disaster loan made under the Section 7B2C during the period beginning of January 31st, 2020 and ending December 31st, 2020 or such later date as the administrator may determine, may submit to the administration a request for an additional amount to increase in the amount of that loan and amount requested by the applicant provided that the aggregate, aggregate amount received under such section by the recipient during that period shall not be more than $2 million. So if you qualified to receive more than the 
dollar cap or any cap that the Small Business Administration imposed, you can still apply for increased funds up to $2 million, ladies and gentlemen. Consideration, consideration of requests under se se paragraph one, the administrator, and then this goes into the other details. But we're going to go right into the advances, okay? The ideal advances, section 110. E3 of the CARES Act is amended by striking the and inserting the following. In general, the. In subparagraph A, as so designated by striking not more than and by adding at the end of the following. No approval necessary. The administrator shall provide to an applicant an advance under this subsection not later than three days after the applicant submits the application under paragraph 1, regardless of whether the application of the applicant for a loan under section 7B2 of the Small Business Act has been approved by that date. In other words, the Small Business Administration does not have to approve you for an economic injury disaster loan so you can qualify to receive the full $10,000 grant, ladies and gentlemen. Look how they changed the statutory language in this bill. It reads, the administrator shall provide to an applicant, shall provide to an applicant, if you remember, in the CARES Act, if you go ahead and read the language, they use the word may. And the way that they structured the statutory language in the CARES Act, according to uh, Nevada District Court, the Small Business Administration had the liberty of capping economic injury disaster loan advances and capping loans because of the word may. Exactly. Because look, look how it reads. During the cover, this is the CARES Act nonetheless, HR 748. During the covered period, an entity included for eligibility in subsection B. This, by the way, this is uh, this is the section, the subsection that addresses the the economic injury disaster loan advance. During the covered period, an entity included for eligibility in subsection B, including small business concerns, private organizations, and small agricultural cooperatives that applies for a loan under section 7B2 of the Small Business Act in response to may request that the administrator provide an advance that is subject to paragraph three in the amount requested by such applicant to such applicant within three days after the administrator receives an application from such applicant. So basically a small business may request that the administrator provide an advance that is subject to paragraph three. You could see clearly, in other words, a small business may request that the SBA give them ice cream in the amount requested by such applicant to such applicant within three days after the administrator receives an applicant. In other words, you may perform the request. In S.4227, by using the word shall, it orders the administrator, the Small Business Administration, to go ahead and disperse those funds as per the law. There's no ambiguity in this in terms of trying to interpret Congressional intent. It is clear in the statutory language. So no approval necessary. Additional amount. With respect to any recipient of an advance under this subsection before the date of enactment of the Insuring Increased Disaster Loans for Small Businesses Act or of less than $10,000, the administrator shall not later than 15 days after the date of the enactment of that act provide to the recipient an additional advance such that the total amount received by the recipient is $10,000. So a number of you have been asking me this in the comment section below. If you already applied and received a grant from the Small Business Administration as per their policy, $1,000 per employee. So most people fall under or, or have the case where they've only received $1,000 because it was only them. They're the only ones that operate their business. So let's say you only receive $1,000. If you have two employees, you receive $2,000. As per this subsection, the Small Business Administration will have to disperse the remaining amount to ensure that you receive the full $10,000 grant. So if you don't receive $1,000, the SBA will disperse the remaining $9,000, ladies and gentlemen. If you receive $2,000, the SBA will have to disperse the remaining $8,000 to ensure that you receive the full $10,000 grant being a legitimate business, a small business applicant for the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. Additional amount, monthly report, and then they would have to provide a monthly report in regards to 
what they are doing. We spoke about this provision and the amount of funding that Congress is appropriating for this bill. That's $100 billion to remain available until expended to prevent, prepare for, and respond to coronavirus uh, domestically or internationally. To remain available until, okay, so the $100 billion is for the loans. They got, they're appropriating $100 billion for loans and to block the SBA's discretion to cap the loan at any amount under $2 million. Authorization for appropriation of the CARES Act is amended by striking $20 billion and inserting $100 billion. Direct appropriation, there is appropriated out of amounts in the Treasury not otherwise appropriated and for the grants, basically, $80 billion, ladies and gentlemen. They're funding it with an additional $80 billion. Small Business Administration for the Cost of Emergency Economic Injury Disaster Loans authorized by Section 110E of the CARES Act, $80 billion to remain available until expended to prevent, prepare for, and respond to coronavirus domestically or internationally, ladies and gentlemen. So there goes the text, ladies and gentlemen. That answers potentially most of your questions that you have in regards to this program. Now, as I promised in the beginning of this video, another top public official is calling for more cash for small businesses, such as the full disbursement of the $10,000 economic injury disaster loan advance. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell made a public statement yesterday stating that although Federal Reserve is working to get loans out to solvent companies that can actually pay those loans back. Not every company is in a situation where they can pay loans back and direct fiscal support in the form of grants, such as the Paycheck Protection Program and, of course, the $10,000 Economic Injury Disaster Loan Advance will help save jobs, help save businesses, help save communities. And he has his hands tied in this respect because he states that Congress is the one that has the taxing and the spending power to ensure that these grants are dispersed to all legitimate small business applicants. And I say legitimate small business applicants because as per my last video, you see that the Small Business Administration has been wasting all this money dispersing fraudulent loans, thousands of fraudulent loans, for hundreds of millions of dollars, ladies and gentlemen, while you, who put your blood, sweat, and tears to launch a legitimate business offering a useful service to the American people, waits on the sidelines, stuck in processing, ladies and gentlemen. It is untolerable the amount of incompetence that the Small Business Administration has demonstrated executing this program. The entire administration is at fault because it works under the executive branch, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, they offloaded the work to a Virginia-based government contracting agency. RER Solutions had offloaded the work further to Quicken Loans, the owner of which, Dan Gilbert, owner of the Cleveland Cavaliers, donated $750,000 to President Donald Trump's inauguration. And he got the job, $500 million, ladies and gentlemen. That's the way the country works. Let me know what you think. Oh, and don't forget to go ahead and keep contacting sbc.senate.gov, the Small Business, the U.S. Senate Committee on Small Business and Entrepreneurship at sbc.senate.gov. That's sbc.senate.gov. Or 202-224-5175. That's 202-224-5175. And let them know. Give them all the numbers that I've been telling you about. How... Jerome Powell, he even said it again. He doubled down on his same contention that all these economic gains, drops in the unemployment rate, hikes in retail sales and housing sales and everything that we are enjoying, as per all these economic indicators, came due to the fiscal support from the CARES Act, ladies and gentlemen. And that when will we ensure the committee's support for S.4227 and the full disbursement of the $10,000 advance for all small business applicants of the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Watch this video right here for more stimulus and economic injury disaster loan coverage. Click the like button if you like the video. 
click the subscribe button to stay on top of my findings. I will report what no one else won't because you don't see this being reported by any other user on this platform. No news outlet. We're out for ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. So we do everything that we must because I will not stop until each and every one of you is funded with this advance and everything for which you are eligible, ladies and gentlemen. May God bless you. May God bless the United States of America and everybody else on this planet. Talk soon.